Hi, this is Marlon, and today's video is just a quick one. I want to talk about backing up your scenes that you have on the Allen Heath Q-Series board. Today we're working with the Q32 board, but this will apply to the 16 and 20 channel board as well. So scenes are basically mixes that you've done here, and you, you know, EQs, effects, and your soft keys, and you, you want to back those up or you can save them the board has internally 100 slots or memories or scenes that you can save internally now that's great but i would encourage you to back them up so let's do some backup here i have a flash drive it's a cruiser blade 16 gig let's go to our setup button and we're going to be looking at the usb data we can also back up our scenes libraries and shows it applies the same way but let's just practice with the scene. So I'm going to put my flash drive in here. Notice the window says no USB disk present. And if you're putting in a USB disk for the first time, it will tell you that it's not compatible. So we need to format that. So in order to do that, let's go to our utility tab. Let's go to the Q drive tab. And I'm going to unplug it. I just want to show you what it says. There is no ejecting of a flash drive. You just basically plug it in there. It always kind of made me feel a little worried. I'm used to ejecting something. But again, it says no USB disk present. Let's pop one in. It tells us that it's an unsupported uh, please format. So let's click the format button here. It's going to remind us that it's going to erase everything. And then it gives us a little meter to show us the progress. The drive I'm using is 16 gigs. Okay. Now after it does that, it's going to take a little while to recognize the disk. So it says no USB disk present, but there it goes. It's reading it and it tells us the file system's okay. Uh, we have 14,660 megabytes, zero U. So let's go back to our USB data. And now we have our scenes over here, right? Uh, one through 100. And if we look over here, we have nothing. So let's do this. Let's back up Joel Mix 1119. And I want to put it to our USB drive. And there it goes. It saved it right there. So now I have two copies, one internally and one on the USB. Let's try scene 2020 to USB. There we go. I think I have another one. Let me see. Oh, yes, number seven, WC19 to USB. All right, so again, I'm just going to unplug this. There we go. Plug it back in. And now we're going to go over transferring this, but let me just show you real quick. For example, let's move our setting to a number 20, okay? So right now we want to move this mix, I'm going to highlight it, and I can either delete it or I can move it to the Q. There it goes. And now it's in number 20. So you can select the slots, which is very helpful. Again, I got two of those. So let's delete this one here. I don't need it again. Click. Let's click delete. I'm going to delete it from the internal. Let's go over here and let's leave those. So Real quickly before I go, I want to show you something that you might need to do. I looked for a video one time because I didn't know how to do this. I was confused. And we're talking about a factory reset. Now, a factory reset may be something you need to do. In fact, we had a situation one time where um, the soft key we had set up to a special mute group. And one of our channels, I think was seven or eight, we could not unmute it no matter what we did. We pressed it, we turned it off and on again. And so uh, in order to solve the problem, we did a factory reset. So let's do a factory reset first. In order to do one, uh, I wouldn't do a factory reset until you've backed up uh, your scenes and your shows and your library. So we've already done that. So let's go to a shutdown here. It's going to say yes. Now to do a factory reset, what you have to do is, I'm going to go to the back here. I'm going to turn it off the keyboard. It's off. What I'm going to do is with my right hand, I'm going to press setup and reset. And I'm going to hold them. And then I'm going to turn on. I'm going to keep holding them. 
All right, now that we look at, let's go back to our processing. You'll see I'm gonna select these there. There's nothing there, there's no names. There used to be names. And so that was a factory reset. So let's go back and let's load our scenes. Look at, we have nothing in here. Nada, nada, nada. So let's go back to our setup. Let's go back to our USB data. Sorry, USB data. And there goes our mix. So let's click it, right? We want to go over to number one. So two Q drive, there it goes. And let's get our number two to number, let's move it to number four, okay? So thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comment section. Take care.